5.360 frames per second, about an 8 second video, so we could put in to PowerDirector 19. This is the default 4K, what we all use, and it works quite well for me putting it in the editor. I could give my camera back to the Amazon guy. I didn't get it from Amazon, I got it from Best Buy. That's how I feel right now, at this moment. Sometimes I feel impressed, sometimes I feel, uh, what do I need another camera for? I go up and down. So I'm gonna be sleeping on my decision, not just tonight, not tomorrow, but for the next couple of nights. The camera works 100%. Within four seconds, I'm shooting video. This is a gorgeous canna lily, a number of bolts. And a very interesting plant. The sun's nice and high. Afternoon, a little bit of wind hitting it. I got Pro Tunes set up, and I'm shooting in 4K. I believe it's 30 frames per second. EV is at negative 5 and I got uh, horizontal and linear chosen. I definitely left home on purpose the media module. I want you all to see how the actual camera is. The sound of the camera in stereo and having a Rode Wireless Go like I am going out and riding a bike. You know what I mean. I could run test after test after test for myself, convincing myself I got an excellent camera. And one of the tests that failed me, didn't fail for me, but may fail for you sitting on the counter doing a live stream for all. At about 20 minutes, 5.3K, 30 frames per second, the camera overheated. It needed to cool down. It would not turn on and continue to record on the next one within a second or two. After it cooled down, the camera was back to the norm. So what does that mean? Can you webcam? What's the resolution of it? I don't webcam. Can you live stream? I could probably do a live stream for you. But how long would the camera work? Standing still, one spot, on a nice hot summer afternoon or in a house that's by a window or on the kitchen counter. And that's all up to you. I don't do things more than five minutes at a clip. I may have done it like what? A minute and a half, two minutes talk and start another clip and my camera's nice and cool. I probably said it and I'll say it again. The quick start, oh man, it's spot on. It's a little bit faster than the uh, Hero 8. And that would be a good reason I will hold on to it. It's a lot faster than the Osmo Action, for sure. And that's something that I like. One thing I really love that DJI did not listen to me, get a video time record out for all. So yeah, what can I say? I could definitely say this. Oh, what was I gonna say? Oh man, oh man, I just totally forgot what I was gonna say. I could shoot one hour, that's about it, with this camera. And then that'd be all I can do with the dead battery. Yeah, yeah. Long battery power, 20% more on the, uh, you know, GoPro Hero 10. And you use more horsepower, twice the frame rate, twice the camera. And that's what you're going to get. Less time having fun. I'm happy using my camera. I really am while it's in my hand. But like I said, do I really need to have something that I already own and have? cameras that does it all so I'm going to turn the camera around and get some pictures for you rather than talk and talk and talk because here comes a fishing boat coming in
Ah, it's a shame. I wanted a live stream for you all with the GoPro. All I can do is on the Hero 9. They don't support the 10 on an iPhone 6 unless I update to ISO 13 and higher. It's a true test with wind coming in this way. And you got the GoPro Hero 10. It has its ups, a lot of pros, a lot of pros. Don't get me wrong. But some of the cons are the things that I personally don't like. And it's nothing that I don't like. I just don't feel I have $660 to put into a camera right now. Close to $700, man, let me tell you. Wow, that's a lot of money for an action camera. And I'm not doing any action. One of the questions is, can I zoom in in 4K with the GoPro? And I'm touching the screen and I'm doing this and that and I'm long pressing on the screen. The only thing I can do is set the EV exposure lock. So here I am on a wide shot. Nowhere can we zoom in, pitch the screen, or get anything in unless I shake the camera, do one of these. Check out this zoom by a tripod. It's all I can do for you. So maybe next time GoPro on the Hero 10, maybe two firmwares later, we'll add that zoom in on a wide angle while recording. So I was on one of the shortcuts to the lower left. Stay back, a vampire's coming. And that got me into all the different little settings of Pro Tools. That I like. Maybe you like it. Too bad I couldn't show it to you. I didn't mirror my camera to do that. The wind is kicking. Time for me to go for a little bike ride. And come up to a conclusion. There is no conclusion. These are just my thoughts out loud. Something I gotta sit down sleep on again and again and again and when I get close to those last three days and that's when I'll make my decision up. So on that note I think I'm done vlogging for the day and this video will be out and I'll work on it when that weather's nasty tomorrow. I always try to keep things true to all get my points out and share the fun. I'm happy I'm sad. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Do I need another front facing camera, a 5K camera that my computer can handle? Oh, simple answer is get another computer. Well, I gotta use what I got until it dies. That's what I gotta deal with. On with the show, on with more videos. Don't get me wrong, I'm not leaving town. Have a great day, everybody.